Hello. Honestly. Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm Jess Davis and if you don't already know me, I'm an ex glamour model. I currently blog about all kinds of things, mostly to do with feminism, feminism, everyday life, sometimes sex, sometimes, do I do dating? Whatever. Basically just loads of stuff. So I just kind of thought that why not start a vlog? Because I know sometimes it's kind of an effort to sit down and read a blog, especially my ones are quite long because I just go on a rant after a glass of Malbec. So, welcome. And I kind of thought that I'd just do a little intro video to get started and just kind of... Welcome everyone to my... About. My new corner of the internet. And basically, I just wanted somewhere that I can do stuff. I know a lot of times some stuff's better written and stuff's probably better said as well. Sometimes writing can be quite serious and I'm actually not a serious person, which I think sometimes my Twitter rants and my Instagram long-winded captions added in the mix of my blog can make me seem like I'm actually a very agitated person, but I am not. And one kind of reason I thought, right, I'm just going to do vlogs as well as blogging is because if you've read some of my old blogs, I did one about I'm not my body, I'm somebody. And that's because throughout, not even just my glam modeling career, which started when I was 18, literally I had boobs from the age of nine. And from then on, everyone kind of just thought of me as that, which then also might throw in people thinking, well, why on earth would you then do modeling and get them out? And then people are more gonna think of you like that. But I just kind of wanted to control what was happening because I would walk down the street or, you know, be in school and people would say comments anyway. I just thought, right, well, I can create my own content and I can, you know, be in control and make some money out of this and do it for me rather than what everyone else is getting out of them when I'm walking down the street on night out. Following on from that, this kind of move into away from glam modeling so don't do it anymore and also it doesn't really exist anymore because land mags are banned but we'll go into that another time yeah so i kind of had to kind of mix and change and start again start afresh which is really fucking terrifying and me as a person i'm very much quite an open book and i like to say how i feel and my opinions and so i kind of did all that online and then people kind of just say oh just shut up and get your tits up so I kind of just thought, right, obviously on Instagram, people are looking just at my pics, which is fair enough. So as this kind of new age era has gone on, I've just become really paranoid. When I meet new people, you know, I do other stuff. I don't just do blogging and that. So I changed my name, like, not legally or anything, but you know, I set up a new Instagram account, a new email account. And when I was contacting all these people with work, I had this fake name and it just really didn't sit well with me because I'm totally the opposite. Like I was never ashamed of my job. Like I 100% enjoyed it. I loved it. You know, I had the best times, but I was felt, felt the need to be ashamed about it. Like I couldn't go in there with my name because what they Googled me and then they'd see my boobs and then that would be the end of it. And they just not reply. I mean, I've actually had the circumstances like that when I think, you know, when you apply for jobs and you think, oh God, that's all they're going to see. And I didn't really understand the internet eight years ago. My agent at the time was like, what name do you want? And I was like, my name. Because why would I not? It was fine. It was fine to me because I wasn't ashamed of it. I loved it. I was really excited to get going. And I didn't really think of the prospect of my boobs are going to be splattered across Google for the end of the time. So fast forward to there now. And obviously the industry's gone, which I didn't really expect either. And then so this kind of whole thing of meeting people and having that linger over you it's one of them things that you have to say right i either take control and create my own content and create my own path and story of how people are going to view me online because whether it's to do with my modeling or they're just googling me for something else like because I applied for a job at an office. So I kind of wanted to control the content that's out there of me. Well, not control it because you can't, but take back 
the smidge of control, control, control that I have and create my own content, create my own story, create my own path and give another angle really of who I am to people instead of just seeing a picture of me in my underwear, which is fine. But you know, there is also a lot deep down. So I was listening to a podcast with Cara Alwill, who does the Style Your Mind podcast, where it's kind of all about finding your own journey, finding your path, you know, business and all that kind of stuff. I was listening to it in my car the other day, and then she was talking about social media, and she kind of said, are you a consumer of social media, are you a creator? That just made me think, like, I'm both, but I'm definitely consuming more than I'm creating, and that's not how I want to continue my relationship with social media because it can get quite unhealthy just sitting there for hours and then scrolling and scrolling and scrolling kind of getting deep into the pits of this girls, boyfriends, cousins, mums, brothers, dads. There's this whole culture as well which I definitely have felt impacted by of you know like you're missing out on something and I mean not jealousy but sort of like that so when I'm scrolling and I'm like which I was so people probably thought that about me. They're living their life doing all these amazing things they've got the perfect life and I mean, if they're really lucky, they might. I don't think they do. I want to just be able to wake up with no makeup on, travel the world to my boyfriend. You know what I mean? Just all this kind of stuff that you just think, gosh, why aren't I doing that? It's just one of the things that obviously you can let consume you and I have let consume me before. And I just don't want that to happen anymore, you know? So I'm trying to change my relationship with social media. Someone who benefits from it, just talking to people and getting myself across, letting people get to know me more than just posting an Instagram picture for the sake of it, hoping someone likes it, scrolling through everyone else's life. It's not the healthy relationship that I want with social media. So that's what's kind of brought me to here. I'm going to be posting videos on all different kind of topics. I really love traveling and hopefully I'm going to go to some amazing places this year. Already going to Coachella, which is really, really soon. I'm definitely going to vlog that. And I've got Thailand booked for December with my friends, which will be amazing. I'm also doing my Battlefield Bike Road for Help for Heroes in June through France. I'll be vlogging that. Hopefully I'll have a few more trips in there. And what just is relatable to everyone, what we're all going through. That's just a short kind of intro about me. I just kind of wanted to give a behind the scenes of my life as me, as Jess, my life as a glamour model, my old life as a glamour model, my life as someone who's trying to make their way in the world, my life as just Jess. Hefyd fi yn siarad Gymraeg felly fi eisiau wneud vlogs yn Gymraeg achos fi'n aliaeth Gymraeg a gyson nhw llawer o chontent mas na. So, fi'n nynd i wneud e. If you don't speak Welsh, that means I speak Welsh. So I'm going to be doing some vlogs in Welsh as well. Because I know some really... <laughs> words in Welsh. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to my first vlog. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise I'll put out new content all the time. And if there's anything that you'd like to see me talk about, just pop it in the comments below and I'll add it to my list. And hopefully... If it's good, I'll chat about it and I'll get up here soon. Hopefully see you soon. So make sure you tune in and I might even be able to treat the treat. So make sure you tune in because I might even be able. Um please, oh my god, have I been looking up the whole time?